In this video, we're going to look at adding textures to our box. There's actually two methods of adding um, textured illustrations to our box or design display. So we're, we're going to look at the first one here. And to get there, we click on our textures option to edit option. And first, we're going to see that, that um, in our groups here, we have the annotation settings. And that's that allows us to put these um, this text onto our design. And this is primarily so if we want to have it um, say something for the production crew or something, we could put that on here. Um, right now we have the ABC, which correspond with the dimension, um, the dimensions of the box. So we can uncheck this, which will turn off the annotations completely, or we can go into our select the panel to um, to annotate, and you see that we have got two different panels. This is one and two. And so I'll go to panel one, click on the edit, and we have a lot of options here that we can do. It it allows us to either add or 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 not add the um, the annotation. In this particular one, we have two annotations. There's a third that we could use, but we're not using it. Um, we have the location of the annotation as far as the panel is concerned and the text that we're going to use. We can rotate the annotation by using this, um, like we have um, B is rotated to the right. And then we can, uh, or it's rotated 90 degrees, I'm sorry. This add line will allow us to add a line um, for this dimension or, or showing the direction of this dimension. And with these settings, we can set the offset of the line. We can set the offset of the text. So we can set them off of the position that we have it. And then we can also um, adjust our arrows the length of our arrows and the height of our arrows, that's this distance here. So you have a lot of options here that you can use and and um, we're just gonna, we'll turn off this line and we'll leave it as is. Click OK. And so next down here we have our local textures and what what that means is that these are textures that are on our computer that we're using um, and they can be anywhere on the computer and we can access them. Our um, show texture and construction view, we'll look at that in just a moment. Um, and update texture size. This is basically if you've made adjustments to your design and, and the texture doesn't quite fit, um, when you update this, it'll resize the texture to fit the whole design so um, and we can turn off these particular uh, bases and note that what we see here the texture that we're going to see here will be in the 3d view so the top face is the one that's facing us out of the computer the bottom face is obviously the one that's down below um, that we can't see in this particular view and the edge is the edges of the material for the thickness um, so what we'll do here is we'll click on this top face and we're just gonna we're going to grab a um, an image in here which now you can see in the thumbnail that we have this grid here so if we go into our 3D view, we have the grid on our top face. And if we spin it around, we'll see the the um, 
the white um, molted uh, corrugated on the back and and on the front we've got this grid and so that allows us to put an image on on here um, in our like I said our local images this comes off of our um, computer someplace on the computer and so last thing I'll show you in here is that when we're in um, construction view like we see here and I'll just move it up and zoom out so we can see it when we're in construction view we may want to see how the image looks on the view for um, a number of reasons but we'll just show you that if we click on this it will show the image covering the whole face here and and that way we can see the image in the construction view so that about covers the local textures and and later we'll look at texturing or illustrating our box our design in flexi so that's it for the textures and we'll see you in the next video